Hi guys, um, you know it's Vlogmas season, so I'm going to take you guys along with me to church. It's Sunday, and I've been attending my church for six years, but I never went to the class they call Journey. So I'm doing the Journey thing. Today is my final day there. I'm going to try to let you guys see some going in there, but you know, people privacy. I tried pineapple in my hair up with just this thing on it. I want to get one of those scarf, what she call it? Headband scarf that Evelyn Lifestyle Channel had. But I want to see what it's going to look like if I just pineapple it up and not use the scrunchie. Only thing, I hate anything tight around my edges. I hate that. I'm in my bathroom. Ooh. Um, today, which I might put a little bit of snippet with it in this vlog, I'm going to blow out and flat iron my hair. It's gonna be on two separate videos. When this video come out, I would have already done it, so I will connect them in the cards or somewhere in the video or in the description. I'm gonna flat iron, blow it out, and flat iron. And to do all of that in one video will be so long. So I'm doing part one and a part two of the video. I'm going to be trying out this Wow. It's supposed to keep your hair from fuzzing up. And you know, Florida is very humid. So like even though it's winter, it was 86 degrees yesterday. Did you guys see in that video where the wind was blowing during the hurricane and it blew out this the earring that was over there? One of my favorite I got from Be Kind. I'll put a link in the description for that too because they said the discount code don't ever expire. So I need to go get those earrings again. Because it blew out, I didn't see it <laughs> till I was looking at the video editing it and I rolled over it with the car. So, it was no more good. Okay, so she got some big hair. And it's time to do it today. I'm going to use a little clarifying. I'm going to use protein on this. And then we'll go from there. I bought a new I Kim Kimball. I, I, I had to ask my sister who she was. Like I knew her, but I didn't. And I remember she used to have a hair show on. So I bought her Healthy Hair Repair and Renew Blockbuster Heat Protectant with sweet almond and coconut oil, greatly reduced damage caused by heat. And it's for hair type, wavy, curly, and kinky. No parabens, no sulfate, no phosphate, and color safe. So I will be using this. She's a celebrity, celebrity hairstylist. I'll be using this to flatten out my hair along with this. So guys, let's go to church. So um, I was gonna tell you guys a little about me attending the church that I go to. Like I said, I've been going for like six years, going on seven years. I went when they opened up the church and the thing that got me the most was welcome home. I love that. And I felt like they was welcoming me home. I was leaving the church that I was attending ever since I was 16 on and off. I am the most congested person. I know I wake up congested every morning and stay congested most through the day. So a lot of my stuff be cut out because I be like, oh, my nose. Anywho, but I left that church to come here. It was a, it was a Pentecostal church. And I think I just got burnt out at the church. You know how people, you around people so long and they call you family, but you know you're not family. They don't really treat you like they would treat family, but they claim that they family. I don't know. So my, that was my mom church. Like that was the very first church she joined when we came to Florida and I was 16 at the time. And I'm 58 now. So like for 20, 30 something years we was attending that church. And I just decided to leave one day. 
was a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, like me and my sister had to do song service. We took out the money. We had to cut. We was the treasurer, the secretary. Like it was a small church. So you know how when you have a small church, you're everything in the church. And it just was a whole lot. And then I felt like you really didn't appreciate it. You felt like you were obligated to do it. I don't know. But I like the church I'm attending now. But I need to get more involved. For six years, I've been sitting peeping. Because I didn't get involved in anything. Because I did so much in the other church. So I finally went on this journey. And it's been good. It's been good. Um, so, something I wanted to tell you. I'll see you at the church. It probably won't be no more. Um, I want, because I don't want copyright on the music they're going to be playing. So, I might just let you see a little bit like I did before. And then a little bit of me going into the journey class. They're supposed to have full breakfast for us for the final class and then i know yeah i know they're gonna ask us do we want to join a group i haven't made up my mind am i joining a group because what they do it's would you consider the church a mega church yeah we have four services 8 30 9 40 10 it's three or four services i go to the 831 and then 1031 is the biggest one. The 10 o'clock one is the biggest one. And then they have another one at 1130. They was trying to do a night one, but I haven't heard them talk about having church at night yet again. So we're hitting 95 and I'll see you on the way into the church. So guys, I'm on my way into the church. That's it over there. And then all of this is the church. I be saying it's not a mega church, but she said it is. frustrated where you are but can I tell you there is a reason for the season that you're in business owner there's a reason for the season worker there's a reason for that season student there, you're, there's a purpose in the middle of it and I realize as I say that that some of you are in a maybe really tough season and you're thinking God why God is this really all there is for my life because I kind of thought you had something more for me than what I'm going through right now what well, can I tell you that if you've ever asked those questions and thought those thoughts you're not alone great men and women in the Bible of great faith ask God probably those very same questions just think about David David was anointed to be king over Israel by the priest and prophet of Israel and he gets sent right back out into the fields to take care of sheep you know he had to be thinking when he was out there going God really I just been anointed to be king over Israel and I'm taking care of these stinky sheep still. And then when he actually made it to the palace, he was brought in as part of the help. 
right? He was playing music for the king while he ate. And then... Okay, guys, we're on our way upstairs. We was going to take the stairs, but say we had to tell the because it almost killed her the last time. I'm going to try to show you the breakfast and then the table we're going to be sitting at. Do we need that? Oh, you got on the sweater. I'm still cold. <laughs> this is oh, that, that look like lunch. Hi. I'm good. Strawberries. Uh, I want everyone to stand up. As soon as I retire, I'll be. I want everyone to stand up. That's fine. And, uh, Thank you. Go ahead and. celebrate recovery well that's one thing for right now but this is the end of my vlog for today I want to thank each and every one of you who stopped by and watched my video and I will see you in the next one